We all gathered at Dan's new office in Kensington on Sunday for Tyler's launch of the newest of his bay installations, a Chinese junk from American junk. It was a familiar and well-practiced art performance, refined over the years since the Red Baron took flight in 1976. His staunch group of supporters, both family and friends, some dating back to those first art exhibits, brought their friendship, energy, and loyal support to the pre-installation party. After some time spent visiting and enjoying the refreshments, the junk was loaded onto the truck. It was proudly paraded down Solano Avenue with Tyler and the custom coronet following it down to the bay. It was a sunny autumn day, but the wind was blowing and it had a really fierce bite which seemed to be coming right off the Arctic current. If this noble vessel was to command her position in the bay, it was going to test the dedication and stamina of those involved in the grunt work today, especially Tyler.
The bay water is really cold, about 54 degrees, and the air temperature this day was about the same. And with the wind chill factor, it had to be really cold in those wet clothes, really cold. In this condition for close to an hour, it's remarkable that no one suffered hyperthermia. On more than one occasion, one had to be reminded of the mythic punishment meted out to Sisyphus, who would be forever required to attempt to push the boulder up the mountain, watching Tyler struggling to maintain a foothold and making every effort to push this sculpture against the elements out to the piles one had to imagine that he was engaged in a similar sort of punishment. We watched, and even after several of these setbacks, he resolutely plodded forward, ultimately prevailing, positioning the junk proudly where the Red Baron had once caught the attention of the traveling public, offering brief entertainment and diversion from daily tension. This might well be the climax to quite a spectacular career of public art. Congratulations, and well done, Tyler. <laughs>